I'm the bad guy. Duh. Fruits are used in movies or shows to tell us something about the plot or the characters. Movies use fruits as tools to interact with or for the rich symbolism. I think everyone and their grandmother heard about the foreshadowing of danger through the oranges in The Godfather. And subsequent uses as something bad happening to pay tribute to Coppola's opus. Peaches for innocence or sexual awakening or desire. You know, I can uh, eat a peach for hours. Hmm. Come to think of it, it occurs to me that every frequently used fruit has been used for sexual symbolism in some way. But we are going to examine the all-star fruit. One fruit to rule them all. Let's look into... Apple. 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 As I was asked to cover this, it made me curious about the topic, so I delved into the depths of apples and explored the several themes. Let me share some wisdom with you. As you can expect, these interpretations of mine are of course the only and definitive answers and won't leave room for any other perspectives. Wait, was that sarcasm? That was sarcasm. <clears throat> what are apples? Apples have a lot to peel off. So we first look into the original theme, the original sin. Though being the only rule in paradise, Adam and Eve have eaten from the tree of knowledge. And suddenly they knew the difference between good and evil. Commonly the fruit from the tree is depicted as an apple, but it's nowadays debated if it might be a translation mistake from the Latin word malus, which can mean evil, and or apple. Or back in the biblical days almost every fruit has been named apple. But already there would we have the connections to knowledge, evil and temptation. In Greek mythology one apple happened to be the cause of the Trojan War. Eris, the goddess of strife and discord, wasn't invited to a party of the gods. So she became upset and sent the gift. A golden apple dedicated to the most beautiful goddess. She inscribed the words for the loveliest. Hera, Athena and Aphrodite claimed it as their own, as each of them felt to be the fairest of them all. Zeus didn't want any beef with his wife or daughters and backed out of making the decision and instead proposed the Trojan prince Paris for them to sentence the winner. They all understood how beauty contests work and openly bribed the juror. Aphrodite offered Paris the prettiest human woman on earth, so Paris, being the level-headed thinker he is known for, selected Aphrodite as Miss Universe was totally out of the blue. Aphrodite kept her promise. After one night with Paris, Diane Kruger fell in love with him. Thus a great war started which caused the destruction of his country and people. All because of an apple. The apple of discord. The trope of a teacher getting an apple further connects the fruit to knowledge. The ties to temptation as shown in Snow White are also well known and have forever established the image of a poisoned apple. If someone offers you a whole apple you can't shake off the feeling there might be something wrong about it. Is that my apple? It's poisoned. <laughs> Apples are the easiest food to let an actor eat in a scene. How are they eating it? Are they sharing or wasting? It's all coming into play. Taking a bite is loud and you make big expressions by eating the fruit. Calling attention to oneself. Similar to a cigarette. If the character is supposed to be badass, he will be seen eating it with a knife. In Blue Eye Samurai, Mizu gets married to a random dude who has lost his honor. Slowly their love and lust builds up and we get to see the blossoming mainly in one specific place, around an apple tree. As time goes by, Mizu becomes more and more comfortable with him, but one day they test out their capabilities in fighting. Her husband is dead certain he will win, but he terribly underestimated Mizu. That's where Mizu's true passion comes through. She enjoys it, but he gets scared, and in the end they reach a point of no return. In Aladdin, the titular hero is sharing an apple on the magic carpet ride with Jasmine the same way as in their first encounter, which serves not only as a signal for affection. This move is also where Jasmine's suspicion is confirmed that Prince Ali is the same guy from the bazaar. And on the contrary side, Jafar forcing Jasmine to love him is briefly telegraphed before as he forces her to feed him the apple. A haunting in Venice is full of small visual storytelling. Like Poirot putting the picture of Alicia into perspective. But apples are prominently featured in this movie and used for different kinds of purposes. It's used in the background as a permanent reminder for a sin that has happened here, taking advantage of its Halloween setting. Ariadne Olivia announces herself to Poirot with an apple. It seems to be connected to her as she only eats apples till supper. You know me, apples only till supper. Il Commissario Santino consumes an apple with the same color as she omitted to Poirot which hints at the connection of Ariadne and the bodyguard. 
The apple is applied as a symbol for lust and amore too, as the ex-lover explains his love for the departed Alicia, shown through peeling off the apple bit by bit. As he is questioned about it and in the end smashing it into pieces, just like the state of his heart currently is. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. The connection to health is burnt into our minds. But I would like to take it a step further and say apples represent life itself. Life itself and the correlation to death. In Jordan Peele's Us, Lil Lupita gets a toffee apple. Before she enters the funhouse, she loses the apple, thus losing her life as she knows it. Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid used it to show two friends enjoying life for a moment and having a good time together. Or father and son together in The Patriots, sharing a slice of life. Death Note takes a bite out of the symbolism for apples in the sense of knowledge, sin and life. Again, there is Christian imagery at play here. In the intro, the apple is used as a metaphor for the Death Note. Now comparing it to Michelangelo's masterpiece out of the Sistine Chapel, God touches Adam's fingers to give him life, Ryuk gives light an apple, the power and knowledge to manipulate life and causing death. Throughout the story we learn that Shinigamis, the gods of death, are yearning for apples. They are addicted to them. If a Shinigami kills a person who still would have time to live, their remaining lifespan passes over to the Shinigami. Shinigami want nothing more than apples. They are craving for life. Interestingly, the duality of death and apples as representation of life is also common in Mexican culture. Through Santa Muerte, death is depicted as a skeleton woman holds an apple or is offered one as a sacrifice because it's a living thing for her to consume. The apple becomes a conduit for negative energy and Santa Muerte devours it to take evil away from us. We get a glimpse here in this breaking bad scene moments before the Salamanca twins kill this cop. One distracts the policeman and is holding an apple, while the other one sneaks up from behind and strikes him down with an axe, shown in sync with the devouring of the apple, or life. In Oppenheimer we have a scene where the American Prometheus is poisoning an apple to kill his tutor. Thankfully his conscience causes him to stop the murder. He succeeded but he nearly killed Niels Bohr, not his intended target. The apple is a metaphor for the atomic bomb. Unlike the apple he was not able to stop the deaths caused by his invention. He built it to outdo the Germans and strike them down. But the Nazis were never hit. Japanese civilians were killed, not the initial target. Now this apple can be read in a lot of ways. The apple as a symbol for life sees it poisoned by Oppenheimer with his invention of the bomb, realizing in the end he has poisoned the world. This apple also plays a bit around with the imagery of the apple from Garden Eden, paralleling Prometheus' gift fire to humanity, as obvious called the American Prometheus, thus giving mankind the meta-apple, making us apple able to blow us into oblivion and he continues to live tormented. If two characters eat an apple and one throws his away and the other keeps it and is still eating, you can see which character values their life and which one doesn't. Utilizing an apple is a good way to portray a character as cocky, arrogant or simply not caring about their surroundings. This is also why a lot of villains are depicted with an apple. It shows how they are not bothered about the current situation. Mostly but not always, they get a green apple which is used for malevolence. The apple as a symbol for life being in their hands and acting all careless. So if you want to introduce your villain, the easy way would be to let them have an apple. In episode 3 of season 5 of Breaking Bad, Skylar has a nervous breakdown. Walt comes home and gets to hear it from Marie. He misleads Marie and tells her about Skylar's affair with Ted. I Ted. After Marie leaves, he is not going to console his wife. Instead, he heads for the kitchen and takes a bite out of an apple, relishing in his villainy. One scene in Game of Thrones has Ramsay Bolton peeling off an apple, to not only underscore how evil he is, but it also is in line with his family crest. You've seen my banners. The flayed man. Having a flayed man as the emblem, Ramsay skinning an apple seems quite fitting. One of the best characters of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, Barbossa, is undead in the first installment. His goal is to become alive again, which is also, you guessed it, shown in his appetite for apples. He feels and tastes nothing. But the very first thing he wants to do after lifting the curse is... Eat a whole bushel of apples. 
It's not only about the fruit, but also enjoying life to its fullest extent. Like for instance, the warmth of a woman's flesh. He enjoys seeing Elizabeth eating and even offering her an apple two times. But when Jack does it, he despises it. With Jack even bragging about how grateful he is, how he is not cursed like them. But happily, after returning to be among the living, he gets to take a joyful bite out of an apple. The humble apple remains a vital and evocative element in the language of cinema and television. It serves as a multifaceted symbol rich with layers of meaning and cultural significance. We associate it with knowledge, sin, temptation, life and death, love and lust, all serving as a simple character trait or plot device. Apples continue to be a powerful symbol for visual storytelling, providing deeper insight into characters and enhancing their thematic depth of stories. Thanks for watching. Hey, they're taking our lemons! We can't spare a single one! Uh, ow. 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 Hey, little apple blossom. It's apple pies that make the men folks' mouths water. Mm, apple.